Joseph Smiley and I work here at The Harvest. I am Pastor Dustin's assistant and I also work with our internship staff. So about two years ago, I was doing the, my first year of internship and I moved down to Texas from Washington. I had a phenomenal first year and I could not wait to come back for my second year. Finances were a little bit rough for me that summer and there was a thousand dollar down deposit that I had to pay before second year started. Unfortunately, I could not get the finances and I'd been in talks with Whitney Bates all summer about just well, everything I was doing and how money wasn't coming through, but I was still stewarding my finances and nothing could break through. And then one night, Whitney texted me and was like, Spence, oh my gosh, somebody anonymously just sent you a thousand dollar check in the mail to get to do internship. And I just broke down crying because it was so exciting to know that God had everything lined out for me financially, even when I was doubting him. And then once internship started for me, I was having massive car issues and I have a car that I can't stand. And so I took it into the shop and I needed two axles fixed. They were each about $600 a piece and I could not afford that. And so I came back to internship the following Tuesday and we ran our prayer time and April Wyatt, who was a former intern, comes up to me after a prayer time and was like, Spencer, I feel like God was speaking something to me for you. And so I said, well, what is it? And she said, I feel like I'm supposed to write you a check for $600 and it has to do with car issues. And I just began to cry again and I broke down and I just could not believe that God was using other people to bless me financially and really show me that he was my provider. And so moving along with the year I graduated and it was amazing and I got hired at the church and we began to do this Heart for the House campaign and I was so excited because I was looking forward to giving and investing myself financially and serving at the church. And so all the money that I was saving for my future, for getting married, for saving for kids, for saving for an apartment, I was gonna have to put that on hold a little bit, but I was more than willing to do that. As my fiance, Cameron and I continue to move forward and give for Heart for the House, an opportunity came up financially for me that was pretty much a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it was just so crazy because God literally doubled the money that I was giving to Heart for the House through this opportunity. So not only could I give, but he was he blessed me with an opportunity for me to be able to save money to not have to stress and worry about my future. And to wrap everything up, I just want to encourage you and let you know that even sometimes when God's calling us to give, you may not want to give out of joy at first, but once you capture his heart and you see that everything he's giving you, when you give it back to him in return, it's out of your hands, it's out of your control. And when we put things back into his hands, he can do what he wants with it. He can put his power on it. He can bless it. And so I just want to encourage you that I was strapped in a financial situation and God always came through, whether it was through a person, a check, an opportunity. He can come through for you just like he came through for me. Thank you.